Welcome to the Scripting Wi-Fi Pen Testing Tools in Python course at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at understanding layers in Scapy. And this is one of the most important concepts you need to go ahead and know. So layers in Scapy, well, packets are really subdivided into multiple layers and every layer uh, basically has a payload which contains all subsequent layers. So to give you an example, a typical 802.11 packet would contain a radio tap layer followed by a .11 layer and then a .11 beacon and .11 ELTs, right, which are information elements. Now to find out the list of supported layers, you could run Scapy. Just type in an ls call and this gives you a huge list of supported layers within Scapy. As you can pretty much see, Scapy has a lot of stuff to offer well beyond just 802.11, right? And the .11 part is in here. So these are the different layers supported for .11. We can see there are a couple of management frames, uh, you know, some web packet is there available as well. And if when you're going ahead and writing a sniffer or injector, you could use a layer, then definitely please do so because it would simplify a lot of stuff which you would have to write. Only if a layer is not present, either you can do the parsing yourself or write a new layer for it. Now, similar to layers, if you'd like to look at all possible operations, you could do an LSC and enter, and this would go ahead and give you all operations, right? We've looked at sniff till now. There are other operations as well, which we would use from time to time. which you would find with LSC. Now, how do we go ahead and traverse layers? So for that, let's first capture a packet. Let me set my interface to mon0, which is a monitor mode interface, which I've already created. And let's go ahead and sniff some packets. let's say 10 packets let's look at a quick summary so let's pick up let's say the very first packet let's say pkt is equal pkt as 0 let's dump pkt you can clearly see this is a beacon frame right you can see it's a beacon frame we see a beacon frame layer in there and the SSID seems to be Alex Wi-Fi now when you look at a packet in Scapy really these show the beginning you know if you see the little angular bracket in here up to the pipe shows the first layer right so we have a radio tap layer followed by a dot 11 layer followed by dot 11 beacon layer and then a lot of dot 11 ELT layers which are information elements right now if you notice some of the fields are parsed for us as an example the information element uh, for SSID gives us the SSID while some of them aren't parsed at all in which case their value in hex is mentioned right uh, so as a clear example, we see something with ID 45 and the info field is just a series of hex bytes, right? Okay, so this is very important because if you want, you could parse it further and get meaningful information from that specific value. Great. Now traversing layers. Now, As you clearly see, we begin with a radio tap header, which tells us a lot about uh, you know, when the packet was captured, a lot of parameters. Now, 
here is what you can actually do to look at what is there in the radio tab header you can do a ls and then put in radio tab and if you notice this gives you a couple of fields the version pad length present not decoded similarly you could go into dot 11 and this would give you the different fields available in this layer such as subtype type the protocol field right and scapy has its own internal data structure to represent it bit field bit enum field etc and pretty much you could go on with this to understand what each of these layers is actually passing in the packet right and then finally you have dot 11 elts which are basically type length value pairs right this is the type for which is id this is the length and this is the actual value now for any given packet let's say ls pkt would go ahead and parse all of these fields and give it to us so that we can analyze it so to give an example we've done an ls over packet and now if you notice it gives us actual values inside the packet right uh, if you recall this was the radio tab header followed by the 802.11 header right uh, we can clearly see this is the beacon frame layer I actually prefer to call it layer rather than header and then after that all of these triplets together are information elements of type length value right so for type 0 or id 0 is really uh, the ssid id 3 is basically the channel right you can see it's actually on channel 1 and depending on the id you can go ahead look at the standard and see which values are interesting for you so if you notice pretty much using scapy we can now get an idea of what we can extract from the packet now let's go ahead and traverse layers right so pkt currently begins with the radio tap layer now as i mentioned for the radio tap layer all subsequent layers or rather the dot 11 layer and all of the dot 11's payload inside uh, pretty much is what it encapsulates logically right so if we actually do a pkt hyphen oh sorry pkt dot payload we would get the next layer and everything after that till the end of the packet so we would get dot 11 and forward there you go right now if we actually want to move forward we can do a dot payload again and for the dot 11 layer this basically means everything right inside of it which is the dot 11 beacon layer followed by everything inside now at this point of course pkt.payload.payload .payload would give us the dot 11 beacon layer as expected and now for this all of this would really be the payload right so i could go ahead write a dot payload and now we have the very first dot 11 elt and honestly we could just continue indefinitely moving forward right so the first dot 11 elt was the ssid and of course its payload is going to be all of this in here and that's why the dot payload gives us everything beginning at id equal rates as you can clearly see here right fantastic now if you want to move back uh, all you have to do is under layer so dot under layer that actually gives you the parent layer so if you notice now we are back with ssid and if i do an under layer again this goes back again to give us the dot 11 beacon and if i go back and put in another under layer and this gives me the dot 11 layer 
and finally dot under layer would give me beginning from the radio tap layer right so this is how we can travel back and forth uh, now for a given packet if you wanted to just print out all the different layers uh, the approach is really very simple here is our packet right let's go ahead and assign the packet to temp so that we can keep moving temp from one layer to a subsequent layer and you know kind of move it forward till we reach the end of all layers and I can actually do a while temp print temp dot name this actually prints the name of the layer and then temp is equals temp dot payload as you can imagine we are progressing forward so that the next time we move on to the next layer and there you go this gives us the output we have the radio tap layer the 802.11 layer the 802.11 beacon and a bunch of information elements fantastic right awesome so this is how we can traverse through layers uh, you know look at different fields in the layers so as an example if i wanted to look at uh, 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 the dot 11 elt one of the ways i could actually do this is let's actually look at the packet here once again so we have packet dot payload which progresses me to the dot 11 layer followed by another payload which progresses to the dot 11 beacon layer followed by the next one which takes me to the very first elt which is this one which seems to be ssid and if i wanted to go ahead and get the info field i could do just a dot info and there you go we've extracted the ssid right fantastic now of course there are other ways to traverse and access layers as well one of which is get layer so let's say if i wanted to get the dot 11 beacon layer would actually do let's say beacon layer equals pkt dot get layer dot 11 beacon right so this would actually go ahead and give me the dot 11 bacon layer and of course you know the payload inside of it as well and now using the beacon layer uh, I can go ahead and print out stuff of interest to me mm, maybe as an example the beacon interval which is 100 right at the very same time you can even check for layers in a given packet so let's say we'd like to check packet dot has layer is what allows us to check if a layer is present or not uh, and in this case let's just check for ARP and if you notice well it doesn't look like ARP is there dot 11 and if you notice it gives us a 1 which is basically is present fantastic so hopefully in this video the concept of layers in scapy payloads under layers uh, how to traverse different layers check for layers which has layer as well as get to a specific layer using get layer is clear to you these are very important concepts you need to keep in mind while using scapy and this can actually make your life very very simple when you write parsing code okay thanks guys and if you're enjoying your time at pentester academy then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community thank you